I just added a couple of new website templates to the Jeffco template gallery. The first feature is horizontal navigation and looks like this. And the other template is our vertical navigation along the left and they both have RV branding. If you would like to change the theme of your existing website to update it or refresh it and you want to use either of those templates or another template in the template gallery, here's how you can do that. So here's my old site. I've navigated to it. It has one of our older themes on it and I want to apply the new theme. Now my site here has vertical navigation. So the easiest way is to replace it with the template with the same format. But for those of you that want to switch from vertical to horizontal, I'll show you how to do that too. First step is to go to the gear icon in the top right, your more actions button, go down and manage your site. Choose the bottom option in the left column, themes, colors, and fonts. And then when you get to this preview page, you'll want to go over to the right to browse for more themes to use for your website. I'll choose browse more themes and then simply search for RVHS. And here are a variety of options. The two newest options are located at the bottom, but you can see our older templates as well. And some of you like to even use the department templates. If you want a preview of these, just click on the title. I'm going to first choose the last template option, the one that also has vertical navigation. So I'll just choose this and then I'll hit the blue select button. And just like that, my site now has the new theme. I can see it in the preview. I choose the red save button, wait until I get the message that my changes have been saved and I come back to my website and it now has the new theme. Very easy. Now I'm going to change the theme again. This time I'm going to switch from using a left column navigation to horizontal navigation across the top. You'll see how that will lose some of these boxes and I'll show you how to add in things if you decide you want them back. So we'll start the same. We'll go to our more actions button. We'll go down to the manage site option. Again, go to themes, colors, and fonts and use the browse more themes button in the top right. Again, searching for our VHS returns all of our templates. I'm going to use this one because I know it has a horizontal navigation bar and choose the blue select button. Now, when my site updates, I don't see any of my navigation links. Let me choose the red save button and actually get out of this theme preview box to see how bad the damage is and what all I need to fix. So to return to your site, just choose the name of your site in the top of the left column that gets you back into this editing view. And now I can see actually two of my links came over announcements and calendar, but not files for glass and not my quick links, which was kind of a special text box that I put in the left column. So to make any more layout changes, anything that's kind of up in the top or along the left, those are considered layout changes, not changes to what's the, what content is right here in the middle of the site. So I'll go back into this gear icon and this time I'm looking for an option to edit this, the site's layout, which is right here. So now you can click on what you want to change. Now, if you want a sidebar back, you can see you can add back the sidebar. And now I have all of my items just came back. So I have quick links, I have my contact information, I have a little countdown that's way out of date here, and I have navigation. Now it's, it's redundant to have horizontal and vertical navigation, but if you want to save your quick links, you can. And I'll just get rid of this navigation window. Yes, I'm sure I would like to get rid of that. So now I have quick links to campus and Schoology that will be here on the left and my contact information. So I basically have a left bar and navigation across the top, which leaves me a smaller amount of room to, to edit in here. So you might not like that because if you're trying to fit a calendar on here, you're going to have um, a much smaller workspace. But that, you know, that's okay. I'll do that. What I need to fix up here though, is I'm missing some links. My files for class link is gone and some of my other links are gone. So let me just click on the horizontal navigation bar. And here's the two pages that are showing. I'm going to go into add a page and I'm going to find my files for class. There they are. There's files for class. I'll say, okay, you have to add these one at a time, which is a pain. You can use the arrows to reorder these if you would like to. So I'll put announcements at the bottom. I'm going to add in another page. 
I was missing files for class. Oh, I had a page called Gadgets, really useful page there. And I'll say OK. So those are the only pages I want in my navigation. If I wanted to add in quick links, you could see I could add in URLs right here. So if I want to add in a quick link to campus, I can add in the word campus, or we'll do Schoology because the URL is easier to get. And then I can just paste in a link to the Schoology login page. Have it open a new window if you want to. So you can add in quick links up here. So you could delete this whole section too if you wanted to. So if you're not adding a whole page that's already on your website, you can just add links across the top as well. So I'm going to say OK. And now my horizontal navigation bar should update to have my files for class, calendar announcements, gadget, quick link to Schoology, and I can add campus here if I want to. So I can get rid of this sidebar item completely if I want to. And I could just put my contact information on another page if I so choose. So if you don't need any of the sidebar items, if you're going to re replicate or duplicate those you know, somewhere else on the site, you can turn this back off just by choosing Enable Disable Sidebar, and it will just go away. So if you bring it back in, it's going to save what you just worked on. I'll leave my site that looks like this. And I will close the layout view. Right now I'm in Edit Site Layout that's in the top of the screen. Choose Close. And now my site has a new look for this school year. So that's how to update your site theme if you're ready to refresh it and just ready for something new. If you have any questions about that or any other Google Sites questions, let me know.